Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. In this video, we are going to play some blackjack using uh, ChatGPT. We're going to tell ChatGPT Chat what the uh, what the dealer holds and what I was dealt, and we're going to let it tell me how to play. So the first thing it, I'm going to say is I've been dealt an eight and a six in blackjack, and the dealer's up card is an eight. What do I do? Oh, and by the way, before I press enter here and you see the cool response, hit the subscribe button. We're doing tons of fun stuff with AI on this channel. Hit the subscribe button, thanks. All right, so I press the enter button as promised. Chat GPT is thinking. It's in the game of blackjack. The goal is to have a hand with the values as close to 21 as possible without going over. An eight and a six have a combined value of 14. If the dealer's up card is an eight, there's a good chance a dealer has a hand with a value of 16 or higher. In this situation, it's generally advisable to hit or take another card in an attempt to improve your hand. This is because you, if you stand or keep your card in hand, <clears throat> and the dealer has a hand of value of 17 or higher, the dealer will likely win. On the other hand, if you draw a card with a value of seven or higher, you will have a good chance. It's important to note that the best strategy to play in back can vary depending on the specific rules of the game and composition of the, of the deck. For example, if the deck has a higher proportion of high value cards, it may be more beneficial to stand. Oh, interesting. It may be more beneficial to stand with a value of 14. Interesting. But it says hit. So I'm just going to, uh, to hit. So now I have. 8, 6, and 14. So let's go back. I've been dealt. 8, 6, and 4 in blackjack. The dealer's up card is 8. What do I do? In this situation, you have a hand with a value of 18. This is a relatively strong hand, but it's not a guaranteed winner. If the dealer's up card is 18, there's a good chance the dealer has a hand with a value of 16 or higher. In this situation, it's generally advisable to stand or keep your current hand rather than hitting and risking going over 21. This is because if you stand, the dealer has a hand on Wow, it's really teaching you. It's important that the best strategy to play very depending on... Yeah, okay. It is the basic strategy. Instead of making... Okay, so it says stand. So let's see. Okay, dealer 21. Dealer win. <laughs> All right, so now, now we are down. Let's deal. Okay. I'm playing black deck. The dealer was dealt a jack. I've been dealt a three and five. What do I do? I think uh, it's going to say hit. In this situation, you have a value of eight. This is a relatively weak hand. You need to draw at least one more card in order to have a good chance of winning. Okay. It is generally advisable to hit or take another card and attempt to improve your hand. All right. If you hit in the card, with a value of nine or higher, you have a hand with a value of 17, which gives you a good chance of winning. If you hit and draw a card with six, will you have a... I'm playing Dale has been dealt a jack. I've been dealt a three of five. And a 10. What do I do? You have a hand with a value of 80. This is a strong hand, but it's not a guaranteed win. The dealer has a different delta jack, which is a value of 10. This means the dealer has a hand with a value of 10. There's a good chance the dealer has a hand of 17 or higher. In this situation, it's generally advisable that you stand or keep your current hand rather than hitting. So I'm going to stand. Okay, dealer 16. Dealer 20. Dealer wins again. Wow. Okay, so far, 0 for 2. playing blackjack. The dealer was dealt a seven and I've been dealt a three and ten. What do I do? In this situation you have a hand with a value of 13. This is a weak hand and you will need to draw at least one more card in order to have a good chance of winning. The dealer is dealt a seven which has a value of seven 
This means a dealer has a hand with a value of at least seven. There's a good chance a dealer has a hand with a value of 17 or higher in this situation. It is generally possible to hit. So I'm going to hit. Okay, bust. Dealer wins. Crap. All right, 0 for 3. 0 for 3. The dealer was dealt a king. I've been dealt a 4 and king. What do I do? This is a weak hand. Generally advisable to hit. Okay, 21, I won. Okay. All right, I've now won. Based, so I've now lost three and won one based on uh, open, <laughs> chat G, open AI's chat GPT. Okay, so I'm putting the dealer is dealt a 10. I've been dealt an ace and four. What do I do? I can double hit or stand. I'm playing black to the dealer's dealt a 10. I've been dealt ace and four, what do I do? I can double hit or stand. There's a couple of typos in there. I wonder if I can handle those typos. In this situation, you have a hand with a value of 15, relatively weak hand, and you need to draw at least one more card in order to have a good chance of winning hand. Deal result 10, which is a value of 10. This means the dealer has a hand with a value of at least 10. There's a good chance the dealer has a hand with a value of 10 in this situation. It's only advisable to hit. So it says hit. If you hit and draw a card with a value of 9, you'll have a okay. And then if you hit and do a 6 below, you'll have a handle value of 16, which is a weak hand. And we'll tell the Ross is the other hand. Okay, let's hit. We're hitting. Okay, it's a 13. The dealer was dealt a 10, and I have been dealt. an 8 ace and a four. What do I do? I think I hit. That's probably what I was going to say is hit. In this situation, if you handle the 13, it's a weak hand, and you will need to draw at least one more card in order to give a good chance of winning. The dealer has been dealt 10. As soon as the dealer has a hand with at least a value of 10, it's a good chance that the dealer has a hand with 17. Gentlemen, I'll hit or take another card in an attempt to improve your hand. If you hit and draw a card with a value of 9 or higher, you have a hand with a value of 17, or which gives you a good chance of winning. So it says hit. Okay, 8. Was, and I've been dealt in five, eight. Oh, it's also worth considering their option of doubling down or doubling your bet and taking one more card. This is your is a good option if you have a hand with a value of eleven or higher. The dealer has a weak up card, such as a five or a six. If you double down and draw a card with a value of 9 higher, you have a hand with a value of 20 or higher, which gives you a strong... It's important to note that the best strategy for... Interesting. So I probably... So it, it's not only telling me the right thing to do, but it's telling me why. So interesting. We're waiting. We're just waiting now. See what it says back. It takes a few seconds. I don't know.
know why it's taking so long this time. Maybe in your, uh, while we're waiting, you can hit the subscribe button. In this situation, you have a hand with a value of 18. This is a relatively strong hand, but it is not a guaranteed winner. The dealer is at hotel one. Stand, push, crack. All right, we're going all in. Okay, all in. Do a delta seven. I was dealt and. Eight and six. Do I hit or stand? All right, let's see what it says. Okay, I just went all in for all the marbles. Just waiting, waiting, and waiting. In this situation, you're the relatively can you need to draw at least one more card in order to have a good chance of winning. This means that the dealer hand was a value of seven over seven. There's a good chance that the dealer has a hand with a value of seventeen or higher. In this situation, generally advisable to hit. All right, we're hitting. Okay, twenty. Now we're gonna stand. All right. And that, and that's how funny. That's how funny Blackjack is. Okay, what do we know? I'm playing Blackjack. The dealer was dealt a four. I was dealt a two and nine. What do I do? Hit or stand. In this situation, you have a hand with a value of 11. This is a relatively weak hand. You will need to draw at least one more card. I have a good chance of winning the hand. The dealer, which has a value of 4, this means a value of 4. Alright, so I'm hitting. 21, oh my goodness. I've won. Alright, we're going all in again. <laughs> I don't need open AI to tell me that standing is the correct option. I've won again. We're going all in, 6,400. Ooh, we've been dealt, oh see, I don't know. I'm playing blackjack. The dealer was dealt a four. I was dealt a nine and seven. What do I do? I truly need the dealer's help on this one. situation your value of something relatively can 
and I need to draw at least one more card, so I got a hit. You chose a hit. Well, experts would recommend choosing stand. Interesting. So it says to stand with a 16, but I've been told to hit. If you hit and draw a card with a value of 9 or higher, you have a value of 17 or higher, which is a good chance. I don't know if this is correct. For example, if the deck has a high proportion of pilot, it may be beneficial to stand with a value of 16 in an attempt to avoid going over. Those. All right, I'm going to stand. I've lost. All right. Well, that's a wrap for me. I'm out of money. Don't listen. <laughs> Interesting. So I actually went against the AI and I lost there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That was a lot of fun. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more open AI content. Bye-bye.